So we're here to reenact part of one of the great experiences in science, the experiments that Galileo did to try and understand gravity. He started out with simple kind of thought. If you have a heavy ball made of metal and a light ball made of wood, and you drop them, they land on the floor at the same time. Unfortunately, you saw that was very fast, and Galileo wanted to make the measurements and show that things really went that way, but it happened so quickly, they had no way to time that quickly. So he came up with the great idea of using an inclined plane so that the gravity acceleration would be less, and therefore able to be able to time it. He set up a very nice metronome, inverted pendulum, and it just measured how many strokes the pendulum went by for each distance that the ball went, and he found a very precise mathematical formulation, namely that in the first unit of time, if the ball went one unit on the inclined plane, the next unit of time it went three more units, the next unit of time it went five units, then seven, and so on, this nice progression. So we're going to reproduce part of the experiment where he made that measurement. Instead of using a metronome, my assistants, Marie and Cherry, they're using smartphones with very good timers on them, and we will roll the ball down the inclined plane the way Galileo did, and we'll measure how long it takes to get to the first mark and then the fourth mark. So we predict the time should be one unit here. It should be one more unit to get to the fourth mark. So are we ready? Ready. Okay, I'll count down from three. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, what were your times? Very good. You're not cheating, are you? <laughs> this is the correct answer. All right. <laughs> so now I need to find the ball. Thank you. Okay, we'll do it again because the essence of science is you repeat the experiment several times to see you're getting a consistent answer and you've checked out that you've made no mistakes. So, three, two, one, zero. Okay. 124. Okay, now we can just take the straight ratios or we can just sum it up and divide. Okay, what do you have for the sum? 1.10 plus... 1.24. One and 1.01. 418. Sum. Okay. That's not bad. And we, and we know from Galileo's careful measurements, he used a very good inclined plane, very good timing, that that ratio should be two. So we came out fairly close with this simple thing and uh, my little floppiness and, and making it go. So this is, this is one of the things that was very interesting that Galileo did is he did it and discovered these things early and then he moved on to other things. He was tried by the church. They had at the 400th anniversary of his trial a special ceremony where they brought out, and a symposium, where they brought out his, all his publications, but it didn't include the publications on these early work. And only, uh, he only published later, after he was under house arrest, and he wanted to go and show that he really understood gravity and that the Earth really did go around the sun. And so he re redid his early experiments and, and wrote them up really cleanly so that people like Newton and eventually Einstein could do it. Thank you.